Today I'm going to be doing a video on the Rockstar Editor because there are still some people that don't know how to use a Rockstar Editor and if you don't know what the Rockstar Editor is, it is the photo mode in GTA 5. Um, probably my favourite photo mode and the reason I got into virtual photography. Uh, lots of people take photos in the game and still aren't quite sure how to use the Rockstar Editor so I'm going to do a little run through of it um, because it can be a little bit complicated to start with but once you get it it's so easy. So let's go. Anywho, um, so let's go online, play a GT online. Turn session, excellent. So I'm going to go and get myself a car in my garage and this is my second character so he doesn't have all the mod cons that I have on my other character. Um, maybe... no, we'll take this. If the time isn't great in the game, I mean it's six o'clock in the morning so by the time we get something sorted out we will have a good light. If not you can go into a job. I'll just go black. Okay. This is horrible. But kind of works. So hold on PS5. Hold down. Down. And that will pop up. Start recording. X to start recording. And just take some video of. Um, where's the sun gone? Middle ish. Yeah, take some video of car, the car or whatever you're taking in different positions. Oh, it's raining. Amazing. So this is just a demonstration. You can do literally the world is your lobster with all of this. It's great. I'm going to turn it off, down on the D-pad and X, then options button and come out of online. So story, quick story mode. Yes. So then when you're in story mode, head over to the Rockstar Editor tab. Okay, create new project. Yes. And add a clip. And I'm going to add a second clip because that was a better lighting. And once we hit the Rockstar Editor, we are basically free to do what we like. And that's what I absolutely love about this photo mode. There's a lot of photo modes out there now, um, but this one for me, it just gives you the flexibility to do anything because you can literally record anything that you're doing. You don't have to stop doing what you're doing, you can just record it and then come in and, and edit. So the camera, um, the camera type, I always like to go to free camera so that I can move around like this. And you can adjust it using your buttons on your controller. Okay, so you can see down below you can move it using L and rotate it using right, but we, you know, you've got 360 there, which is brilliant. Um, and you can zoom in to get a better depth of field using R1 and R2. Zooming in. Um, you can roll using the um, D-pad, which can be, it comes in useful sometimes, but I find that sometimes horizons need to be, well, straight. I'm a bit of a pedantic when it comes to things like that. So if you go back, if you go back and you can scroll through using the right stick and it will play the video. The great thing about this is if you go to camera, move with target, hit player, you can actually move with the player. So whoever you're playing, you can move around with him or her. Okay, so um, yeah, so let's take some photos. Um, get the camera lined up, quite like that, it's quite nice. You want a bit of depth of field in there. I always think that not too much depth of field is a good thing, because if you do it too much, it can be a bit like that. Make sure that you have everything focused. It just looks a bit too much, really. So let's get rid of that. So we can see the car a little bit. Um, zoom in a little bit more, and then press the right stick in to get rid of the HUD and then press the um, 
Oh, it's not on this button here. I don't even know the name of this fucking button. It's the button on the left. Uh, back with the HUD so that you can move the camera around a bit more. Um, just keep scrolling through the video. Uh, I'm going to take just a photo of just the car. Just play around. Just have a bit of fun with it. So yeah, get rid of the HUD and again, screenshot. So what it'll do then is it'll screenshot what you're doing. And it'll go into your, um, your photos. Um, yeah. There we go, that's that one. So if you want to come out, just, no, I don't want to save the changes. Exit. And you get back into the editor again. So if you zoom in a little bit, it kind of gives it a little, like, like it gives it, instead of it being all like, out like that, which I'm a huge hatred, I hate that. I don't like that at all, because it looks really warped. Uh, zoom in a bit to kind of give it some sort of reality. There are filters, um, which I don't generally use that much because I edit in Lightroom afterwards, very, very basically. But you can adjust the filter density, intensity there, which, you know, sometimes there are, when, it, when the light's not great, you can use that. That, that doesn't look too bad. Um, one of my favorites is this one. Yeah, you can, you can adjust saturation, contrast, which gives it a kind of shine, brightness, which I don't really need messing with, and the big net, which will give you a, a black border, which is useful sometimes in certain situations, but yeah. Um, go through the rest of these. You can do lots of things outside of the Rockstar Editor. Yeah, Graveyard Shift's good. It's got its own kind of depth of field on there. I like that. I don't use it very often because there's quite a lot of grain and I'm not a huge fan of grain. It's all about your own personal choices, really. So there we go, that's that. The rest of it, videos and stuff, I don't really get involved with too much. This is a video on how to take very basic photos in the Rockstar Editor to get you started. You can just it, just just play with it, honestly. So that's that. Hopefully that was useful. If you've got any questions, just put them down in the comments below. Uh, give it a like, give it a subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll see you soon for another one. Bye.